Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that is your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I want to share with you some of my current favorite essences. Now I do have a favorite essence video from 2020. I'm going to put that right here. You know the drill right up here for you. You can check that out because all of those picks still stand. Um, but I've got some new ones to share with you, some different ones, some updated picks for you. Um, that I want to share. And as I've been telling you over the last couple of months throughout my videos, I realized one of my favorite category of products, essences, had sort of fallen out of my routine. They just weren't playing a big role for me for a while, but I recently kind of like re-embraced them, rediscovered them, and reinvigorated my love for them. So I'm really excited to share with you some of the essences that are really floating my boat right now. If you're so ready, let's jump right into the video, give it a big thumbs up, and let's get started. So I want to start off with the Dr. Seracol Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence because you know I'm obsessed with this. It was really love at first use and it has been like a major skincare player for me um, for over a year now. Like I really, really love this product and it is for me the perfect blend between hydration and moisture in one product. I have combination skin. It does lean more on the sensitive and dry side, but I do still get oil on my skin. So there's a real delicate balance there between needing lots of hydration but also needing moisture that doesn't overwhelm my oily areas and like this just nails it there's just something really special about how they've balanced both hydration and moisture in this in like the very perfect harmonious blend that really just suits my skin so so much so ingredients wise the star here is going to be the kombucha tea now this is a little bit of like a trendy ingredient they're claiming it's a probiotic ingredient which helps to support your skin microbiome now i keep telling you like you're gonna see this more and more and more in skincare about probiotic and prebiotic skincare or skincare that's good for your microbiome there's definitely evidence to um, support that your skin microbiome does lead to a healthy skin barrier we just know tea in general to be really good for the skin we've known that for many 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 years right microbiome aside and there are a couple of different types of tea in here now tea is so good for the skin because it's a strong antioxidant so it really helps to protect your skin from UV damage and free radicals. It also helps to soothe inflammation on the skin and just overall it really supports healthy skin. So we've got a good amount of tea in here. We also have Saccharomyces ferment, which is derived from yeast. Now this fermented ingredient is jam packed full of vitamins, minerals, amino acids. It has natural beta glucan in it, which really helps to plump up and hydrate the skin. Saccharomyces ferment may have some well aging benefits associated with it too. It might be able to help fine lines and wrinkles, but I mean, overall we can see that it's delivering a lot of nutrition, so to speak to the skin. It is supporting healthy skin. We also have sunflower seed oil. Now this is really great for replenishing the lipid layer, AKA the skin barrier. So it's really good at replenishing the skin barrier, making it really strong, helping it to hold hydration in place. And it's also very moisturizing for the skin with a really good amount of of omega fatty acid content in it too. So you can see how all of these like major ingredients are coming together to really support healthy, strong skin. This essence is so good at hydrating and moisturizing your skin. And the way that they're achieving this is with a biphase essence. So we do have kind of like that tea portion, which is really hydrating. And we have this like creamy um, moisturizing element and that's where the sunflower seed oil is. And then you get to mix these together, which is like total skin entertainment. It's really, really fun, but it's not just a gimmick, you know, mixing these two together really just creates the perfect texture. As you work it in, you're going to feel the hydration. It's going to kind of like really sink in deep into your skin. And then you're going to get that silky, creamy moisture on top that doesn't leave like an oil slick on the top. It just like really balances out the skin, really comforts it, makes it feel, yeah, nice and
and balance, especially for combination skin. You're always kind of like searching for the right amount of hydration and moisture. It's right here in this essence. Such a great texture that just does not overwhelm the skin. When I use this, my skin feels stronger. It feels less dry and sensitive. And I really do feel like with all that tea in there, I am getting a healthier sort of lit from within type of complexion. It just makes my skin glow, which is really something like, the reason why I use essences so much is I'm really chasing that healthy look and that healthy glow. Essences really help you achieve that. And I do think that this one does it in its own way. So it gives me the glow. It gives me the improved look on my skin. It balances my combination skin. When my skin is at its most sensitive, this feels so soothing on it. And this actually saves me time because like I said, I'm getting so much like nutrition and benefits from this. Sometimes I just skip out on serum and I'll put on one or two layers of this and then just go right in for like oil and moisturizer. It's that good. Next up, Then I Met You, The Giving Essence. Now this has so many great fermented ingredients in it. And you know when you ferment an ingredient, it really brings out so many more benefits. It like jam packs the ingredient with lots of vitamins and minerals and amino acids. It just really concentrates it. And we've got um, one of the most famous fermented ingredients in here, Galactomyces fermented. And this is a real classic essence ingredient. Um, it is, you may be familiar with it, it is uh, marketed under the name Pitera um, from SK2. Um, that is Galactomyces ferment. That's just like the generic name. Um, and it is in this essence. So this ingredient really helps to support healthy skin because it's fermented. We've got lots of nutrition for the skin, lots of, you know, amino acids, lots of vitamins, lots of minerals. It actually helps to um, stimulate the hyaluronic acid. Um, in your skin. So it actually helps to hydrate and replenish your skin. It can help to brighten up hyperpigmentation. It's a barrier supportive ingredient. It just overall supports healthy, bright, strong skin. Love this ingredient. It has been paired alongside of Aspergillus Ferment, which is actually a great fermented ingredient, again, for that brightening benefit. But you may have noticed we do have good old niacinamide here to help support that like brightening benefit benefit as well. This also has red algae in it, which is an ingredient I'm seeing popping up in uh, quite a few different K-Beauty products. It does have some good skin benefits. Um, it does have antioxidant properties. It can help to hydrate and moisturize the skin. It has some well aging benefits to it. And it is contributing to the texture of this essence because it is runny and hydrating, but it's got body to it. And as you feel it between your fingers, you're going to notice like that characteristic sort of slip to it that I I notice with a lot of like red algae types of products but it is not sticky it's not slimy it's not tacky it's just got like a little slip to it and just a whisper of moisture so as you get it onto your skin you're gonna feel hydration you're gonna feel like a little bit of plumping on your skin and then just that little balancing moisture it's not greasy it's not oily it doesn't leave you shiny or anything and again it's not sticky it's just a little hint blink and you'll miss it but just a little bit at the end it feels really nice and it really gives this essence like a little bit more oomph you know like I said it kind of plumps your skin it kind of holds hydration in in just a really really light way um, it feels super nice what I've noticed with this essence and the reason I'm really enjoying it is it definitely contributes to the healthy complexion I am always seeking for that <laughs> I'm always kind of fighting against dull skin and that's really I think why I fell in love with essences in the first place because I'm always chasing that glow and this definitely gives me that healthy healthy lit from within glow. I like the texture. I like that little extra oomph that it's not just watery. You know what I mean? There's just a little something extra, a little bounce to this. It feels kind of luxe, but I gotta be honest, it's the glow. <laughs> It's the glow that gets me and um, my skin just feels so good with this and yeah It's it's that nice experience, but the benefits Definitely um, definitely do deliver. I have to talk about the Son Rev Tri Bio Treatment Essence I've been talking about this a lot. Have I not? Um, so it would be weird for me not to have it in this essence video because I've really been enjoying it And like we're building on the fermented ingredients here because we've already talked about Galactomyces Ferment, Saccharomyces Ferment, Aspergillus ferment all of that is in this 
and we also have bifida ferment lysate now this is a probiotic ingredient super trendy but actually this is super good for your skin's moisture barrier it's proven to help strengthen the moisture barrier to help reduce sensitivity on skin and it um, actually shows some really good effects for protecting your skin against uv damage so like this is a chef's kiss type of ingredient right to have especially if we're talking about like essences that are about healthy skin strong skin this is definitely a worthy ingredient so we've got so many great fermented ingredients in here i um, really nice um, a nice mix and we also have sea buckthorn extract which is a natural form of vitamin C but it's a lot gentler on the skin it's still bringing a lot of the antioxidant benefit and it's bringing a healthy dose of a brightening um, but just like I said a lot more gentle and definitely more stable than ascorbic acid is and you know let's throw some niacinamide in there too <laughs> just for a little bit more of that brightening kick now I really call this a first essence for sensitive skin based on the texture it's very light it's very watery a little bit of hydration but not as hydrating as a toner right it just quickly absorbs into the skin this is really something that should be put on after cleansing uh, but before your toners and and serum so that's kind of where this lies so this to me is like a first essence that's really suitable for sensitive sensitive skin because when my sensitive skin is like pushed off the deep end and it's pretty irritated you know and it just can't tolerate so many things I do find one of the things that doesn't always jive well with irritated skin is actually fermented ingredients now not all products are like that but like heavily you know fermented things don't tend to always work well with my skin I think it's just due to the fact that when things are fermented they do tend to penetrate deeper into your skin that's really the magic of fermenting ingredients because the deeper you can get them into your skin the more effective they can be but when you have irritated skin you don't necessarily want stuff to penetrate super deeply right because you're probably dealing with a compromised barrier um so this is just something that i found throughout my like many adventures in skincare that sometimes super fermented stuff doesn't always feel good sometimes it does but sometimes it doesn't and i've just never experienced that with this essence before you know there are many different fermented ingredients in here but i think it's just been formulated in a much more gentle away my skin drinks this up it absolutely loves it it feels so good on the skin I'm still getting the brightening healthy glow benefit that I always look for in essences <laughs> this delivers so I can definitely tell you it's working it just does it in a gentler way with a little bit more hydration hydration than some of your more traditional first essences have so that's why I think this one's just a little bit different than some of the other first essences that I've loved especially in that older video from 2020 this is a little bit different a little bit more gentle but still delivering on benefits next up is the beauty of Josan ginseng essence water is it an essence or is it a toner <laughs> you know that's actually something that I get asked a lot like what is the difference between an essence and a toner and I know like when you're first kind of starting your k-beauty journey you're like I don't think there's a difference like why are they called two different things like aren't they both like hydrating watery products and it's like well not exactly there's a lot of nuances between the toner and essence world these days but generally speaking like a toner strictly hydrates your skin again in the Korean skincare world right it's really just there to replenish and to hydrate the skin gently where an essence is generally more about skin health it's packed with like antioxidants anti-inflammation types of ingredients it's usually going to give you that healthy glow maybe some well aging benefits Fits. and it can come in a, a variety of different textures but it's really more focused on um, giving you a little bit more benefit for your skin than just hydration so that's the difference between like again like just very simply the difference between the two I usually am not somebody who leans towards using an essence like a toner they tend to be kind of expensive they tend to not be hydrating enough this from Beauty of Jason is very different because I actually feel like the hydration level here is pretty good and I'm really picky about hydration. So for me to say that is a big deal, right? This is a hydrating essence, um, but it's not just like a toner because it does bring those essence like benefits to you. It does actually do something for the skin beyond hydrate it. So this is actually something that could save you money, save you time, save you steps. This is how I use it as a toner and an essence in one product. 
love that. So this has a lot of ginseng in it and I love ginseng. This is one of my favorite Korean centric ingredients because it's a really potent antioxidant. So it's really great at protecting your skin from damage and it really helps to reduce inflammation on the skin. But every time I use ginseng, it's one of those ingredients that I always put my finger on as like being the one that made my skin look so good. Ginseng helps to improve blood flow and it gives you that really, really, really healthy looking complexion. I'm not talking about brightening dark spots because that's not really what ginseng does, but what ginseng does is overall improve the look of your complexion. You know when you've done like a really intense skincare routine before you go to bed, you wake up the next morning, you're kind of like stumbling into the bathroom, you look in the mirror and you're like, hey, <laughs> I barely have my eyes open and I can tell my skin looks so bright and glowy. That's what ginseng does but just in one ingredient. Like it really, really makes your skin look great. And that's what this essence water does. Um, it really does deliver on the ginseng benefits, but it's super duper hydrating and it's really affordable. So I think this is a great one um, when you are on a tighter budget or you wanna try an essence, but you don't wanna really like invest the time and like the, the energy to an additional product, this could be a great way to kind of like bridge the gap. I honestly use it on the times where I'm just kind of feeling overwhelmed. Like I don't want to think about like, how am I going to put together this elaborate skincare routine with all the different toners and essences and serums? It's like, just combine them, you know, just make things easy. Or, you know, I've kind of sh overshot my skincare budget for the month and I'm looking for a toner and an essence. This is super duper affordable. So I really, really love this one. Speaking of premium, I want to talk about the Amore Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. Now, this is a single extract essence, as the name suggests, meaning that it's only using one star ingredient to bring all the benefits to your skin. And what they're using is highly concentrated, premium quality green tea extract. That is the only diva in this formulation, hunty. This is a trend that has been getting bigger and bigger over the years in essences, where you're just using like one diva star ingredient and really focusing in on that. Of course, in the formulation, you're also going to have some preservatives, like this has to be shelf stable, right? It's not gonna go moldy on you. There's a couple of other things in here, but you're not gonna notice like a lot of texture enhancers or brighteners or other they're like soothing ingredients or well aging ingredients. You're really just focusing in on one. And here it's the green tea. Now I really do feel like these 100% extract essences or serums or whatever, I do find like that to be kind of a mixed bag. I don't always think that just because it says 100% or says it's the only ingredient means that you're getting a high quality concentrated amount of that said, you know, star ingredient. In this essence, you 100% are. Um, and in my journey throughout skincare, I've learned a lot about how extracting, um, you know, the star ingredient really makes a big difference on the end product and the quality that you're getting and that you're putting onto your skin. And Amore Pacific really controls the process here. They grow their own green tea on Jeju Island. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they grow their own tea and then they ferment it for a hundred days and then they slowly like methodically extract it over 24 hours. So it's like a really like painstaking process to get the green tea extract in the first place. And really what Amore Pacific is doing is they're controlling the product because a lot of times brands don't have the money or the resources to grow their own, you know, tea on Jeju Island. So what they're doing is they're using their resources to control the quality of the product. So it's not like unknown from some manufacturer, some farmer of unknown quality. You know, when you get a strawberry in the middle of summer and it tastes juicy and sweet and just like so good and then you get one like off season like in winter and it just it tastes kind of sour and it doesn't have a lot of flavor to it and it's it's not really tender and juicy you know what I'm saying but they're both the same strawberry that's kind of where Amore Pacific is coming in and controlling the quality they're harvesting it at the right time they're fermenting it for the right time they know their product from you know beginning to end that's why this is so expensive. Um, and I think that's kind of why this is so good is because the quality of green tea is so good. So when you have a high quality extract, you're really getting the most 
out of the ingredients. So you're getting a lot of the green tea antioxidants, the catechins, the polyphenols in here. You know, this is just supercharged green tea that is really going to bring a lot of benefits to your skin. And what you get with a really high quality extract too, is you get a uh, very like a deep dark color especially for a tea extract like this you get this deep brown color it looks like you know the tea that you might brew at home right and it smells like tea my skin has always responded really well to green tea much like ginseng it's one of those ingredients that never fails to really give me that incredibly healthy look and this product just like takes it up a notch it really reduces like any redness I have a lot of natural redness especially around my nose and under my eyes this really reduces that it just makes my skin look so healthy and radiant what I did not expect from this which is just like it kind of blew my mind that it was happening is it refines the pores on my face I do have enlarged pores especially on my nose and just a little bit around there and it really helped to refine them to tighten them up to really kind of smooth them out like it improves the texture and tone of your skin brings all the antioxidant power you this is one of the most potent antioxidant like green tea products that you can use really um, it's protecting your skin it's giving you all that that wonderful green tea goodness it's refining your skin it's making it look bright and healthy it's so freaking expensive <laughs> it works though like the product quality it's there you know what I'm saying? So like if you can comfortably afford this, I personally do think this product is worth it. I personally do not think there's any other dupes out there. There are so many great green tea products that are really affordable. If this is not in your budget, don't worry about it because you can get green tea benefits at lower prices. Absolutely. But if you want an apples to apples dupe, I don't think it exists. I don't. Um, so like I said, if you can comfortably afford this and you're interested in it, I do think it's worth it. Like it has my endorsement. I can't always afford this. This is like, this is super duper luxurious, but it does work. It is one of my favorite ones. I think about it often, even when I don't have it, like in my skincare collection, I do think about it because it is such a high quality um, product. It is an excellent example of what a single extract essence can do and what it can be. And that's why it deserves to be in the video. So those are some of my updated picks. And I'm curious, what are your favorite essences? Because you know, I'm always looking to try new ones. Let me know in the comment box below. If you like this video, um, but you're not subscribed to my channel, please do consider hitting subscribe. I make a lot of new skincare videos every single week. So turn on notifications too, so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.